doing good. It's good to see you. We're gonna we're gonna be fighting the bed of chaos today. For, for better or for worse. <laughs> well, hopefully we get to the bed of chaos. I still gotta fight the centipede demon, and then walk past the the the, the, the actual dragon legs. Um. <laughs> It's a nice, uh, nice beautiful Sunday, so why not? Why not ruin the Sunday a little bit with Bed of Chaos? <laughs> you got any, uh, like, uh, plans for today? You just chilling out. Generally, chilling out's the best thing to do on a Sunday, regardless. Yeah, I would say Sunday is, like, the best day for chaos, generally. Um, unless it's, like, too much chaos and it runs off into Monday, then you, you're out of luck. Just, uh, out of luck, uh, Chuck. In our, uh... Last stream, we, we spent three hours uh, killing rats, the, the same group of rats, uh, to get humanity to save um, Solaire. But Solaire is saved. That means there's nothing between me and the bed of chaos, except for the centipede demon, so I mean, <laughs> that could be a mess. It's some, uh, you know, you might as well just get into it. I know I have a timer, but, uh, you know, I, sometimes I just ignore that timer. The ten minutes is sometimes too much time for me to wait. Sometimes I just want to fight the bed of chaos, I mean. Okay, let's just get everything settled in. Uh, okay, perfect. To battle. Hopefully. We, we, we shall certainly see. Uh, but, I do have... Mm, well, well, I did have a shortcut open, but I have to walk to it again. That's okay. And that's perfectly fine. You know, we had to give all the, we had to give 30 humanity to her, so she could open up a, a, a like a shortcut for us that would let us save somebody. That that is not a that is not the shortcut either. I thought this was it. I kept going back to this wall. Oh, I kept going back to this wall. Like what the heck? Open. Um, but that it's not a door. It just has like the appearance of a door. <laughs> just a fake door, I guess. Jeez. But, uh, you know, uh, one of my friends, York, he, he told me, um, no, the shortcut is, in fact, uh, 18 miles away this way. So, you know, pr pretty good shortcut. Uh, just really, really far away. Mm, yeah, we'll grab this bonfire just in case something, something snags us on the way. What the... That was a very visible halberd that ghost had. 
kind of spooked me a little bit. So we got, you know, this beautiful, beautiful place. Uh, the Demon Ruins. Oh, shit. A nice place, very safe. Uh, and the, the, the lava burns your eyes, you know? It's beautiful. A part of me feels like there's something good and nice over there. It's all those gigantic uh, hammer-wielding demons, but uh, I don't want it. I don't care what it is. I mean, you know, I'm not crazy. Wait, is that? No. No item. Just lava. We will probably have to fight these guys, because um, it's too many of them to really run past. They'll, like, they'll swarm you if you trigger too many. Whoa. Luckily, um, he whiffed that just because I'm so short. Okay. That's one. There's like fucking, uh, there's like eight of them here, so. <laughs> and they do quite a bit of damage still. I mean, I think I'm like stronger than them, but boy, they hit me like two, three times. It's over. It's not for lack of trying either. I do have like very heavy armor on. So I can only imagine like, geez, how like much harder would it be if I didn't have uh, heavy armor? Right, just one, just one, please. You know, just one, one at a time. Oh, clever, clever. You just gotta take it slow and steady. Uh, the, the real killer in this game is impatience. No, because uh, you just don't want to get like super greedy. Cause you, you want the guy dead. Yeah, you want the guy's dead like immediately. But you, you, there's no way to like will yourself to kill him real quick, unless you're you got a really big like hammer or something, you know. <laughs> You know, if you're walking around with a big, like, like Ooga Booga hammer, like, yeah, okay. You, you could probably, uh, snarf these guys pretty easy. But, you know, not everyone is that, uh, that cool to have the big, uh, big, uh, duper hammer. Uh, for me, like, I've tried to use heavy weapons in this game before. There, <laughs> uh, uh, no luck. Very little luck, generally. Like, the, the, the slowness hits me hard. Oh. Oh, you are yeah, you are the sexiest board W. I appreciate the offer. Um, but I'm like, I wouldn't call myself a, a, a serious, super serious streamer. But I do appreciate the offer regardless. But I kind of, you know, I'm kind of just, just playing Dark Souls, chilling out. Specifically trying to kill the Bed of Chaos today. Holy crap, what did that guy drop? But regardless, I, I do I do thank you for the offer, you know? Hopefully you, you get more luck in the future, the sexiest board. What the hell is a sexiest board, though, I wonder? Like, what would that even be? Would it be like, um, like Plank from Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Like, uh, with, like, lipstick on it, right? That would be a pretty sexy board, I'd think. I'm pretty sure Johnny probably did that to Plank a couple times, you know? The weird guy he is. Where the heck is that? Oh yeah, I, I never bought the bottomless box, so I am cursed to have 8 trillion items uh, in my inventory at all times. I could. It's really cheap. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm just literally that stubborn. Where I'm just like, nah, I'm not gonna spend a thousand dollars on some box. Eh. I mean, it's, it's an ultra great sword, so I'll probably never use that. I mean, ultra great swords probably are, like, one of the best things to use in this game. Um, dex weapons are pretty good, too. But you gotta really, really be good with that timing. That, like, swing timing. Because it's real easy to get caught. Like, like after you swing, or even before... Some people are really good with that though. They like they, they got the timing down like like real fucking perfect. Me, I I like the claymore. I'm used to the claymore, uh, moonlight greatsword. 
anything with that like move set, I'm like pretty comfortable with. Bonfire hit. There is a bonfire over here. I guess I'll I'll grab it for posterity's sake because I don't I, I don't really want to fight all those guys again in case uh, something bad happens, which does tend to happen around here. Like up ahead, they got this big worm and the big guy with a hammer, and they are like the tag team equivalent of like, you know, death. Like you, you're done. They, they, once they get the the one two on you, it's over. We'll probably clear these guys out though. These guys are not too big of a threat unless they they you know burp on you. It's the only you know only worry. You don't want to get burped on. It hurts. It hurts a lot. Fact. Okay, you just gotta avoid being uh, devoured by the worm and squished by the uh, that guy. Now, the shortcut in question is right here. And I have already been in the shortcut. Uh, but I teleported out with a, a, a bone, you know, those homeward bones, because I'm just like, nope, nope, I have souls, I, 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 I did the thing I'm supposed to do, uh, I'm done, <laughs> you know. But now we finally get to breach into this, uh, into this place, and see what the hell is actually in the, uh, jeez, see what's in the shortcut. You guys don't drop really anything, do they? Something's getting hurt up ahead, it looks like. Now, we don't have to worry about these guys all that much, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. Oh, look at that that guy, though. I, I'm worried about him. Give me your give me your gubs, buddy. Wow, he dropped a, a lot. What the... He dropped, like, four items. That seems unusual for one of those uh, item bugs. Usually it's just one and done. Now I'm gonna go out on a limb here and assume this is like a very, very strong one of these guys because I've fought a weak one. I fought a strong one in a in a in an earlier area, so I can only assume this is stronger than the strong one I've seen. So we might well, we'll give it a we'll give it a little hit to say hey. Okay, yeah, he's got a lot of health, and I can I, I can just run. Just gotta uh, mind the uh, lightning bolts that he's gonna try to shoot. Like that. You know, it's okay. Oh, they don't have any tracking on them. That's weird. You would think lightning has, like, the best pull to it, but I guess not. Gosh, it's been so long since I've last been here. I have no idea what's in here anymore. Like, I feel like I have zero... Like clarity as to what is even in this place. It's just a dreary ass looking zone. Um, I know there's like funnel demons, the demons with like big funnel mouths. Those are, those guys are pretty cool. A bunch of these guys, but I mean honestly, unless you're just super weak and your attacks bounce off of them, um, these guys aren't really that much of a problem, honestly. They're just too slow to really cause you a big problem, I think. But you know, maybe if I was walking through here with a, a long sword and not a heavy weapon, I'd be losing my mind over them. And if I were walking around with an ultra great sword, they'd be probably <laughs> dead in one hit. So you know, two hits, not bad. But at least with my two hits, I still have the ability to go like, whoa, ooh, and run. Like in case like I, I get freaked out during my little thing. Unfortunately, like I was going to try to use this claymore with like a shield, right? Like, like a, you know, like a smart guy. Um, but it's, it's so slow. Like using this thing with one hand is, is miserable. Well, that was probably my mistake. That entire floor broke, in fact. Wow. Didn't even... Did I take damage from that? I don't I don't think so. The, the holy hell is that? 
Yeah, I'm looking at you. I don't know how to get up there. Do I even want to get up there? There's a fucking thing up there. A, a passive thing, too, because it, it freaking it turned to look at me. Oh, yeah, it's, it's one of those funnel demon things. They're weird. It's like one of the most outrageous designs I think I've ever seen in a Souls game. It, it's just... What a freak that that thing is. Yep, there's more of them. I probably shouldn't have fallen into here, I'm, I'm guessing. And I'm gonna, like, assume that, uh, probably can't plunge attack these, these guys. That probably wouldn't, wouldn't work out too well. Oh boy, what do you guys do anyways? Preferably, we're gonna get all these items and leave before they get like their their weird uh, weird looking hands on me. But uh, maybe not. Uh, maybe not either. Please, I, I don't like you guys at all. This is weird. You guys are weird. Holy guacamole! You, you got me cornered, huh? You sp oh, stop it! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that was like h horror movie stuff right there. They just sit there and douse you in liquids. <laughs> they just douse you, they, they, they corner you, and just fucking spray you down. Alright, but well, my armor is broken apparently. No, that's not broken. What, what is broken? Oh, this is broken. Who cares? Who gives a hoot? Oh, uh, that's why. Because if I equip my helmet, my um, my roll, my roll suffers. Maybe a, a lighter helmet? No. I'm just not allowed to have a helmet in this playthrough. I'm thinking. Like that's what I'm gathering is that uh, me thinking I'm gonna wear a helmet is is just a a fool's like thought. I'm like halfway through this video game and I have still yet to like be strong enough to wear the armor I started the game with. I started the game with this armor and I'm still struggling to like put on the complete set without being like, you know, immovable basically. So unfortunately, uh, their, their corrosive acids uh, melted my, um, my mask, which gave me stamina boost. And that's, that's unfortunate. And it's, I don't actually, I don't really remember them actually even having that ability of just like, like fire hose acids, like just fire hosing acid onto you. Because I, pro I was probably never dumb enough to like let them corner me in the past. these guys are like friendly so friendly that they would make um a brave man of the sun like like crazy i don't even know how like he <laughs> went insane from these things like what the f also i wonder how the heck solaire got into here to begin with did he just wander through like this back way Either way, what a miserable place to, like, meet your end. Oh, shit, there's the, uh, legs. The dragon legs, in fact. In fact, legs. Like, they, there's no upper body. It's weird. Look how many there are. Holy crap. <laughs> this This place is great. People tell me this is the worst area of the game. They're wrong. This place is bonkers. 
This place feels like as shitty as it probably should be, considering it was like just annihilated and corrupted by demons and chaos. Like this is a, indeed a, it's a chaotic area. Like it's accurate. I don't know. I, I think people say like this is a rushed area, but I I don't know. It feels like it it was torn apart the most from like the incidents. Cause there's nothing like even like New Londo, right? It's it's still full of ghosts and and stuff. Like there's still some shred of like, whoa, my weapon's broken. My weapon's broken too. I need to go back to town, repair some shit. Ah, oh, those guys broke like everything I had. Okay. Yeah, broken weapon. Uh, barely usable in combat, uh, but that's okay. I think I grabbed a soul of a hero or some such. Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> well, York, as you can see, did you hear that, though? That's all I got to know. Did you, did you physically hear it? Because I know it appeared, like, on the whole damn screen. You did not still hear it. Wow. Okay. Good to know. Looks like I researched it, and they're like, you have to set it as a browser source, and then add that browser source into your uh, thingamabobber. I'm like, okay. And that's it. It is exactly what I did. As, the, as you can see, it popped up, like, in the middle of the screen, just to confirm it to me that, like, the browser source did work. But you couldn't hear it, and that's that's the disappointing part. Hmm. Well, that's, that's a damn shame. Just means I'm going to have to look into it uh, again. You've been trying to load this stream for like 15 minutes. Well, did I do something? Is it, is it on my end that's making it hard to load? I broke my shield as well. Okay. Um, well, regardless, I'll, I I think I'm still a step closer to getting those alerts to work properly, because the, I think it's tied to something weird. I, I, I looked at the official, like, Twitch website and had them tell me, and it's just like, I don't understand why, because I can hear the alerts. Like, anytime they pop up, I hear them. I don't understand why that's not translating to, like, you guys, right? Because the music I have on the layouts, like the little background musics, those work. I'd assume it would be all the same, like, system, you know? Oh my god, my armor is so broken, it's gonna take thousands <laughs> to repair it. That, that, that fucking juice really messed me up. Uh, note to self, don't, like, really, actually don't fuck around with, um, those big funnel head dudes. They will cost you thousands if they get to the, their hands on you. I don't even understand how Knight's Helmet plus one is broken. It never lets me wear Knight's Helmet plus one. Oh, Knight's, oh, Knight's Helmet, oh, can't wait to wear that. <laughs> All right. Well, we've wasted some souls repairing ourselves. Also, my souls down there, next to the fucking funnel heads, um, gone. So I don't have to worry about them anymore. Shit, I just keep running. Yeah, so we, yeah, we don't have to go down there. I grabbed most of the items I saw before they cornered me and squirted on me. Um, so we're good. We don't have to go there. The floor will not fall next time I look into there. Uh, it'd be good. Hopefully that Titanite Demon doesn't squash me on the way in.
Um, so how's your how's your Sunday going so far, York? I can't remember if there's any bonfires inside of these demon ruins. I mean, shoot, I don't even know what the main way into the demon ruins are, I think, because uh, I've just been going in through this shortcut I unlocked. And I'm not quite sure how short it is. Like, I, I so rarely use it, I'm not actually sure, like, which part of the area I'm even in right now. Are those souls over here? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Hey, you guys are lucky. Hey, you guys are lucky. I, I, my sword was broken last time. Only 600 souls from these guys. I see one of those bastards up there. <laughs> I woke up and I started trying to watch the stream. Uh, that makes sense. Whoa! Alright, well we're back in the hole. Yep, 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 yep. What a great place. That's uh, that's uh, I, that's where all my equipment got broken. Is down there, all of my equipment, uh, everything. Uh, you know, it was it was it was kind of fucked up. I I like these guys less than I used to, because I used to think they were funny. Now they they're freaking me out a little bit. I don't think I ever I ever knew that they could. I I like I thought they just had like a grapple attack, but, but then again. I'm, I played a mage in this game. I, I, I kept my, my safe distance from most things, so they never had a chance. But here, with this guy, they fucking had their... They had fun. I feel like I have to go down there. To, like, get out of here. Ooh. But before that, I'm gonna at least look around and... See if there's maybe isn't like a safer route out of this damn place. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Well, I jumped right in, like, right, right down into him. I wasn't planning on fighting them or anything. I was just like, well, I doubt these guys are like fast enough to do much about it. This poison? Oh yeah, this place is kind of fucked up, isn't it? That is a death hole, holy shit. Someone just fell into a death hole. Wow, this place sucks, man. Like this, this is awful. I, I'm not a fan of uh, anything about this place. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Get away from me! Get away from me! Oh, I've been. That's where I came from. Okay. You stay the fuck away from me. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Okay. Well, you know, that's a that's a that's that's interesting. That's, that's you know, that, that is what it is. Uh, you stop looking at me. It's freaking me out, man. 
Why do you keep turning anyways? You got 27 eyes. <laughs> I fear you, but I still will fight you. No, 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 I, I refuse. No, don't you even fucking, oh. They're not strong, but they also have the, a thing I don't like. Wow, red titanite. I guess I need to visit the giant at some point. Um, because the giant will let me imbue a weapon with, like, fire, right? I'm getting all that red titanite. I might as well use it. Is I guess that was it. The, I guess the thing he dropped was pretty nice, so... What is, what is down here? Oh, mm -hmm. I see. Okay. What a great little path. Maybe I have to go here. I see. <laughs> I see, I see. That seems unsafe, too. It all seems unsafe, really. Hmm. Well, you know, I feel like going down here would be just safer in general than going in there. <laughs> so can I, like, just go around these? Like, okay, yeah, this is fine. I guess that just keeps them inside. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. This place has, like, um... Petrified veins and shit. Oh boy. Uh oh, man, this one's cute because you can't see the uh, chain. A red titanite slab. Okay, well. Oh, how do you I mean, I'm happy I'm going in here. I, I, I don't even think I'm going to ever use any of the red titanite either. You know, I'm happy to obtain it. Excuse me? What the f- What the fuck? How? Where? Where did you even come from? I heard him, like, up here. Did he come out of the hole? Holy shit. <laughs> I'm just getting free souls from something all over the place here. Hey, you know what? And I'm just so I can see a little better. Jesus, kind of dark in here. I feel like utterly trapped in this place for some reason.
like I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of this uh this little fucking like sluice area down here. up on this fucking thing no no wishful thinking wishful fucking thinking there's less of them down here now so they're somehow like getting themselves killed huh That's... it's fine. We tricked. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. We've been up here. We found jack shit. Okay. I think the hole is the key then. I'm gonna go down there and try to kill those two lingering around. Because apparently there is, in fact, only two of them left. If I can find the hole, jeez. Ah, this is a good spot to drop in. We'll, uh, we'll go around a little. If you can find a little bit of a better vantage. Alright. Here we go. It's kind of just an empty ass room, really. Only one way out? Okay. The poison's kind of a pain in the butt, but. Could be worse. Ah, yes, a poisoned uh, labyrinth. Kind of my favorite thing. I'm gonna go through. Because I don't think there's any more enemies in here, so I might as well try to go just through it, like this way. Which just leads to the other hallway. Dead end, dead end, dead end. There were those stairs over there, but those just take me back up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is a new looking path. No. No. That's a treasure chest that had the, the damn red titanite in it. We've been on this corner before. I've been through there. I don't know, but I'm gonna check. Oh, this leads back to a uh, big death room. Okay. I 
we already went that way. Found nothing. And this is a dead end, so this whole whole F inside is just nothing. That whole side is literally a chest and a bunch of dead ends. Well, let's see what's on uh, this angle then. Uh, this little pass through once more. But the, where's those stairs at? Be nice to get out of this poison for a minute. Is that about to wear off? Yeah. Okay, we're back up here. I don't think we have to be down there, like, at all. I'll be honest. I've, I think I've scoured it. There's, like, nothing down in the poison besides, you know, items. So whatever way out we need to get to is up here somewhere. Where up here? I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, but we're bound to find it. Oh, can I can I actually go up there? No, I, no, I can't. It's like at this point, kind of just want to get back to the the surface. I don't, I do not want to be in this hole anymore. I, although, a lot of red titanite down here. If I go down there, I have to go down into the hole. So don't don't do that. Okay. There's no way to go that way. What in the holy mess am I doing in here? Nothing. Uh, the only other way that could be feasible would be this way. But no, nothing. Okay. Hey, hey! So what I learned about the, the big great hole is that you don't actually have to be in there. There's, there's, it doesn't lead through, it doesn't lead to, um, but if you want some red titanite it sure is, there's a whole ass uh, slab in there. And if you're lucky all the enemies just kind of kill themselves it would seem. I mean unaliving. Um, uh, unaliving th themselves. Uh, uh. <laughs> How did you die? Me no see anything. Holy shit. I have uh, forgotten about you. Okay, okay. Unideal situation overall. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I don't. I don't. I'm not a fan of that. Really. through things in this game like you can in Dark Souls 3 and it fucks me every time it fucks me every time because I, I think I can't just I'll just roll through it just roll forward through stuff like you can in DS3 
but uh, in this game, your character seems to actually have like no invincibility frames. If the thing hits you, it hits you. Because I feel like rolling towards attacks was like a, a thing in Dark Souls 3 that we just did. And if you didn't do it, you weren't like playing optimally in a lot of ways. You know, every time I play it, I just, I realize this is, this is in fact a different game. It almost seems darker in here with this fucking, uh, thing I got on my head. I forgot about that pyromancer too. Kind of freaked me out to see someone running at me with like fiery hands. I'm like, what the? F You're not a, a, a overweight statue. Get out of here. I got my mask of the child on again. <laughs> I do like uh, I do like stamina recovery though. It's, uh, it's nice to have. I wonder if this guy's gonna catch me on the way in. Yes, yes indeed. We had kill me on the way in. I don't know. Going forward, we, we we've got an appointment with the bed of chaos. So we just gotta actually find the guy first. Centipede. We gotta kill the centipede demon first. Okay. See, this is where they get uh, scary. They start doing this, uh, ganging up on you stuff. But apparently not that scary. These guys are fine. Oh shit, they perped right on me. Okay, cannot get up there it would seem. And I think that, oh, let's get rid of him first before we do anything else. Because that Pyromancer is going to be a problem, I'm guessing. They, they do a lot of damage if they catch you. Just a good bit of damage. I wonder if I can just bum rush. You know, just not give them time to cast a spell. Yep. Wait a minute. Are you kidding me? Do you you gonna really tell me if you go through that shortcut, you you just bypass the fucking centipede demon? Because that's that's uh, that, that is that not the boss room for the bed of chaos up ahead? Huh. Weird. I have some... Whoa, what's going on here? I wonder. You gonna leave me be? Be wary of liar. Be wary of liar. Wow, okay, cool. That's... Probably... <laughs> Beware of liar. Illusionary wall ahead. Liar ahead. Be wary of liar. Hmm, but... Illusory wall ahead. Ah, dang it. 
Ah, oh, what a, a liar. Chaos Fire Whip. I mean, it sounds great. It sounds really good. Okay, well, uh... Alright then. exactly want to lose 18,000 souls I think so I'm gonna spend them before I go launch myself into this madness to level up just 2,000. Will these have 2,000? Will it be less? Probably less. Uh, less. Uh, maybe not. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Nice. Perfect. endurance do I need for this armor set? I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna damn well try to get it. Huh. Guess that means I missed out on the lava ring then. So I, I'm not gonna be walking on any lava anytime soon. I mean, I paid my 30 humanity, so. I'm I'm gonna take what I've been given. Oh yeah, it, it literally is a bypass. There's some good stuff down there too, though, if I recall. Like in those things. Well, we'll see. a lot of blood stains along this road. That Titanite demon's been been cleaning up shop. Don't think we need to worry about these guys. Even if they're not really a big deal to fight, they're I don't feel like they're gonna catch up to me by the time I get to that boss door. 
The only worry was the pyromancer. Well, 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 here we go. That's one. And then it gets a little stronger. Oh shit, that's always scary looking. That's always scary looking. Well, there you go. <laughs> See, now, a normal person would be upset about that, but I understand the floor is going to fall out eventually. Like, I know my time is limited in there. Once all the floor is out, then at least you can, like, determine where to go. But when there's a, a, a full floor, you don't know when that floor is going to give out onto you. I basically walked to the first one because I'm just like, well, you know, <laughs> I gotta pay attention. Then I was too busy trying to roll out because I was uh, afraid of the big scary skeleton arm. Uh, but that's fine. We are one third of the way through this fight already. If I had um, arrows. If I used arrows, I could have gotten rid of those two things from a distance pretty easily, but I have like five arrows, I don't know. I've been trying to avoid using just ranged stuff. I mean, I guess I do have pyromancies, but you never know. Like, they, they come in handy once in a while. Yeah, it's good to have at least something to like throw at an enemy just in case. And pyromancies cost like nothing. Like you don't need any stats for them or anything. They were really cool in this game actually. Because in the other games it was a lot less. It, like anyone can use pyromancies. That was the appeal. Hello, 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 hello. Once we get that other side, the left side done, um, then becomes then 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 starts the real factual fight. Uh, <laughs> Because getting those sides are not really the hard part. Uh, it's getting to the middle that's going to be tough. Because you got to jump. You got to fucking jump. And now when I go down here and slide, there's a chance it might like hit me with an ability on the way down. So, you know, the fight just gets harder the more chances you, you, you take trying to do it. Then we gotta go over here and hope the floor doesn't fucking give out on us. Like that. Oh, like, or you, you know, you hope you don't get, uh, you know, brushed in there by the big, uh, broom hand. 
But you know, that's bed of chaos for you. This boss is designed intentionally. Exactly, this, bo this boss is not broken. They knew exactly what they were doing when they made this boss. Like a hundred percent, they were laughing as they made the bed of chaos. Because in fact, it is a, it's a, it's a chaotic fight. There's no like, like you go in there and it's just you just go. But you you cross your fingers and hope that the you get a little bit lucky. But for me, the more floor that like collapses, the the better off I am because uh, you, you you know when when it's all up, you don't you don't know where to run. And even if there are jumps and stuff, at least you know like what path is viable to take. So you know, hopefully we can get that second wing on this one. Yeah, you know, you tried. Oh, shit. Okay. I am, however, pretty excited to get this boss out of the way. Just be done with it. I will see if we can fight the centipede demon afterwards, though. Just to get him killed, too. Ah, because I know there's items down there in the, that fire pit that I, I kind of want. Alright, off we go again. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that whole route. Yeah, it was just a hole, by the way. Um, actually, uh, this is a hole. Yeah, sorry. Did you try to go into this uh, hole? Yeah, I'm sorry. That's a hole. Oh, hmm. Should I? Hmm. Should I allow that? I can't believe Six would say something like that. That is insane. Let me see here. Let me see here. Let me allow this. Wow. I can't believe you would say that. Big I allowed it, Six. How are you doing today? Oh, all new fit. You mean like every other fucking Dark Souls playthrough? Like, York told me he looked at the list of people playing Dark Souls Remastered, and it was just everyone's just walking around with that naked character. So, you know what? Screw that. I'm I, I, I'm not gonna follow the dorm. Yeah, dude, I don't even need armor. Dude, screw them. <laughs> screw them. What, they gotta make their viewers look at a beef jerky man the entire game? What a bunch of weirdos. What a bunch of... Meanwhile, I, my viewers get to look at this majestic man. You know, he's a little rough. He's a Florida man. My wrist is all fucked up, and I'm hungover from Japanese whiskey after getting stomped in magic. I see. Oh, so, uh, yeah, that makes sense. That happens, uh, you know, that happens. You should probably, you should probably recuperate today, then. Holy... Guacamole. How is your wrist messed up? What did you do? Did you like hit somebody? Did you like lose at magic and then punch somebody? 
Oh my. Jesus. He hit me with his strongest attack today. But that's what I get for trying to run past him several times. Probably getting frustrated. This is like the, the, the fourth time I've run past this guy trying to kill this fucking boss. Yeah, too much, uh, it, 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 that's what happens, you're a Harang player, you know, it gives you Carpal Tunnel. Oh, yes, I will take these zero souls. Hmm, thank you. Now we're going down to the bit of chaos. He's probably going to kill me again as soon as I get down there, but that's okay. This is a battle of attrition, this, fu this fight, I swear to you. It's nothing but you just gotta be like, oh, you got me again? Hmm. Nice. Nice job, you butt. Whoa, whoa. You gotta watch out for his big broom hands. Gotta watch out for his, uh, that. Whatever that is. Watch out, you know, watch out for the broom hands, of course. Gotta watch out for the falling floor and the explosions. Uh, but, you know, we're making progress. A lot of repeated motions with pull work. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, probably my favorite part of this game, actually. You know, I decided when I played this, I'm like, you know what? I could go, like, play the other good areas, but no, I want to do the, the bad one first. I want to kill the bad boss first and be done with it. And, you know, and I'm... I will. Oh my god, I am... I can't even see, guys. Come on. I can't even see! Get your back out of my face! <laughs> you know, I just wanna... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm only slightly regretting choosing to fight this one uh, first. Will it take... Will it take an hour? Will it take six hours? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna get Elden Ring DLC for sure, um, hundred percent. I mean, it's. I mean, Elden Ring may be, like, kind of mid tier compared to like the Souls games and Sekiro and Bloodborne, but I, you know, I don't see any new Dark Souls coming out or anything, so I, I will hundred percent play it. I mean, I'm probably gonna be playing it with York, honestly. Um, me and him play through like most of these games. Well, after we, we, we beat him solo, and then we do like a co-op run after. Uh, Frank yeah, hasn't beat Elden Ring yet, so I don't I don't know if he's going to be playing the DLC. So it might just be me and York. It would be nice to have like Frank tagging along, but his characters are like level fucking 30 or something. Like he, it, you know, the DLC is like in-game content almost. But uh, me and York have like a few characters that are like leveled up to like do like in-game content, so we're, we're ready for it. I actually am tempted to just do a playthrough of Elden Ring on here to like kind of lead up to the DLC. He should play. Uh, you should play him. It's honestly like they're good games. People who don't play, I don't understand why people are so afraid of like these games. Like they're they're good. They're just good, good solid like games, you know? Oh no, they might have a fresh thing. Oh no, people might see you die a couple times, like, oh, yeah, get over it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> people got this damn, like, main character syndrome, and I think Dark Souls is like the, the antithesis of main character syndrome, because you're a fucking beef jerky man, and you're, you're meant to die. You know, like, how can you be like, uh, how can you be like, uh, arrogant when you're beef jerky man? You know? Now, how can you be like, uh, how can you have main character syndrome when this guy is, is hand broom sweeping you off ledges? Ugh, come on, get in there! Get in there! Cut it! Please! Please! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> you should make, uh, you should make. Frank and Beef play through it. 
because it would it would technically be like Frank's like first time through too. Wait, have you beaten Elden Ring? Have you played through like any of the Souls games uh, six? Because like yeah, I don't even know what games you like. Because I like I, I like I think you like JRPGs, but you also make fun of them, like I do. So like, I don't know if you like. And then then on the Brodown or what it, not? Yeah, the Brodown you play like a game that's clearly bad. And then on fucking uh, outside the lens, you I I feel like you're making fun of Sega and like Nintendo by playing all the bad games on it. I feel like you you're goofing. You're goofing on these nerds with that. You know, you, you, you'll play like some fucked up game and be like, wow, people used to love this game back in the day. This game Hot Dog Squirters, wow, they just loved it. Nice, yeah. I think honestly, yeah. Same here. I, I, I'm like super excited to play through Dark Souls 3 again on here. But it, it, it's only right to do Dark Souls Remastered first. Boy, it boy, I tell you what though, like coming back to this game, it could you can feel it. You can feel like it is notice noticeably like weirder to play than like the the you know Dark Souls two, three, and Elden Ring. But you know, I kind of, kind of, I'm kind of digging it. Like this game is cruel. It's a it's a cold hearted bitch, and I'm I'm kind of like okay with that. Like it's nice. Elden Ring, on the other hand, like, was, like, was very kind. Like, a very kind game, in comparison. But I hope the DLC of Elden Ring is just meant to, like, is, is meant for the, you know, the types of players, like, the old fans, the ones who do want the challenge, you know, and want dungeons, because Elden Ring did not have fucking dungeons. It had, like, the weakest, like, it, the easiest dungeons I've seen. Good bosses awesome bosses but boy they really skimped on like making the dungeons like hard to get through you know because that's what i'm here for i'm here to like get to struggle through a fucking dungeon and then get my ass kicked by a boss do you have a low yeah uh, dude i i i probably put the most hours into dark souls one on like the you know the original xbox 360 uh, mostly for PvP. Like, I would just make dumb builds and then, like, just fight people. See if I could beat them or not with, like, my stupid ass builds. And then Dark Souls 2 came out and made me just feel really weird because the player base was, like, absorbed. Like, the Dark Souls 1 player base was just absorbed into Dark Souls 2. And I don't feel like Dark Souls 2 was, like, the better game. It was good. It wasn't bad by. By video game standards, it's an exceptional game, but by Dark Souls standards, it's it's still the worst. I I was considering playing through Dark Souls 2 on here as well, but I don't I don't think I don't think I want to do that. That game is built to be frustrating. Uh, it's built to like actually like be like a, a like a pain to play. And by design. I would 100% you like uh, dude like good lord I wish the Rodan was Elden Ring though cuz sentiment <laughs> Jesus <laughs> good lord man after they fucking killed the main character I was just like well that this is dumb this is a stupid game like I, I was all for it until they just was like you know the character you've been playing this whole time yeah he's dead I was like nah yeah that is that's too much that's way too much that I can deal with a lot of bullshit what the fuck Hey. Hey. I'm unappreciative of the fact he just did that. Holy shit. Oh yeah, well I, I don't like that either. I think he's still funny. Ah. Oh yeah, well I'm gonna heal again. And fuck you. Ah. <laughs> well, you, well, you, well you suck. And you know it. Ha. Well, what, what about those moves? <laughs> <laughs> See you later, sucker. I'm out of here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Y you weren't ready for the... Oh my god, please stop shaking. Uh, please hit it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's another boss down the drain, guys. 
bit of chaos done. That makes tr that makes sense. I I mean uh I I think I would like because the version that came out for the Xbox 360 was like they made it look like crap. Like it looks like shit. It really like because it has no lighting or shadows or anything. And like in the trailers for Dark Souls 2, they were like explicitly like showing off like torch mechanics of being like yeah most of the game's gonna be really dark. You have to have a torch. And then when we got when me and York got it, it was just full bright. It was there was no shadows or it was just like the like it looked like garbage, man. It was weird. Uh, I do want to play Scarlet the First Sin though. I know it's it's harder, right? It's like the hard mode version of Dark Souls 2, but I, the I, I assume it's gonna like not look like crap like the 360 version did. Why is there a bonfire in here, anyways? Oh, but yeah, I'm I'm Mike. I'm 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 fairly excited about the Dark Souls DLC. I'll be honest. All right, Elden Ring DLC. I still haven't beat Melania on my on my fucking Elden Ring game though. Like I still need to beat Melania. Y York suggested I should stream Elden Ring for like ten hours or however long it takes for me to beat Melania. Just just be really angry the whole time. Honestly, yeah, Majula is amazing. Like I I'm disappointed that no other hub areas in the Soul series were actually like good like that. Well, Dark Souls three had like the tower. The tower felt like nice and cozy. But Majula just felt like, oh, well, there's like some shred of like humanity still left in this world. My favorite guy was the dude who just built ladders. Like his whole obsession was like, yeah, I build really good ladders. What's up? Uh, you want me to build you a ladder? Hell yeah. <laughs> That's what I do. I build ladders. I'm like, damn. What a fucking guy. Yeah. I mean, you know, the more I think about Dark Souls 2, the more I'm like, I need to give it another shot and like. Because I, I feel like I gave it an unbiased take when I played through it the first time. I mean, for me, anyways, she's. But I'm, I'm trying to like. Oh yeah, well, you if you're good at Sekiro, honestly, like I don't see why Elden Ring would be hard for you, you know. I don't know. For me, it was just. Uh, I think my build was just. The build I'm using on her is just not not great. Uh, with the way she fights and the way I, the way I fight is I like to tank fucking hits. I tank hits and then I, I hit you harder, right? Yet Melania does not allow that. Like she hits you, she heals. You know, because I'm a turtle kind of guy. I you know I got my shield. I'm a little beefy. You know, I could take a hit or two. If if she blocks, if, if you block her attacks, she heals. You know, she's she's like a she's a good anti me. Bone dart. I mean, honestly, in Dark Souls three, I did, I did do it like a fist build, and it was really good too. It was kind of OP. I've never played um Sekiro before, really. I own it. I just remember I got like um I found like this big giant dude, and he used wrestling moves on me, and I just quit. I'm like, no, I lose. Like I'm not gonna be able to defeat a fucking giant man with wrestling moves so i'm done dude sekiro is just like it's just tenchu it's just tenchu it's like it it should have they should have called it tenchu and i would have been like hey i'm all in i'm all in hell yeah it's tenchu it, it's tenchu same company that fucking uh, from software worked on tenchu as well so you know it makes sense It is, it is, and it's also like built for certain types of people. Like it's not built for a, a Dark Souls one fan, because it's meant to be like you're supposed to be overly aggressive. Whereas you're punished for being aggressive in Dark Souls games, except for three, like in one and two, any like if you are not patient, and you're like overly aggressive, you you, you like you pay for it. You, you it's considered greedy to go for that extra hit. In Sekiro, though, you're rewarded for, like, um, putting up pressure. 
It, it, I mean, have you played Armored Core 5 or 6 yet? Because it's uh, Armored Core 6 honestly uses the same mechanics as Sekiro. It's crazy. Like, it's insane how similar those two games are. Because, like, in Armored Core, your whole purpose is to continuously nonstop attack so you can stagger your opponents. And if you're ever playing defensively, well, you're not taking advantage of the stagger mechanics. Which is which is fine. Like I feel like I feel like games are even like Tekken Ape, every game is just like really just catering to the people who go for like aggressive playstyles. And they're not offering like enough solutions for different playstyles. Uh, same with like Guilty Gear Strive. Like a lot of video games really just kind of reward um just like just ah! you know, slamming your buttons and screaming and just like just like going psychopath on your fucking controller like it feels like games reward that more than like methodically you know inputting commands and, and thinking about it and being like you know i shouldn't throw that out like we are i feel like we are and that's that's okay but uh you know i like uh I, you know i like like the Baldur's gate i like to take my time i like to sit there and be like hmm well shit maybe i should do this you know i don't want to fucking be like in a panic state while i'm playing a game was there anything down here? Or am I just... I'm actually stuck. I wonder if they gave me a homeward bone, or am I just supposed to, you know, go fuck myself? I think I can teleport. Does anyone really stick around here? Like, what the... F <laughs> just, just stick you down here, huh? Oh, I should probably level up. Oh, yep, yeah, but, uh... I'm getting, you know, uh, Tekken 8, pretty good. I actually like the fact that it's more... Because Tekken 7 was a... A game that based on defense. I think it was a very defensive game, but I, I like that Tekken Eight is not because I, I get really annoyed when people just like stand back and wait for me to attack. It pisses me off. <laughs> I'm I'm fully okay with people just going psychopath in it. I'm sure you've you've encountered a couple people in Tekken 8 who are just like just they all they do is back up and wait. Hmm. What the hell does the bit of did he even give he gave me a Lord Soul? Okay, inferior soul can't even turn his soul into like an item oh it's a pain remember the oh yeah um i i do kind of want to go fuck with the centipede demon a little bit if i can too yeah i also have a lot of souls that i don't want to lose Oh yeah, and it's it's pretty hard to like zone in on them too because they know exactly what launcher to use. Like they know exactly what's gonna catch you best. Um, so it's it can be rough. Like there's a because uh, all the shitty players have, have finally quit. Like they quit. They've they've quit. Like all the scrubs, the people who are like maybe I should try Tekken, they're gone. We're the hard asses are the only ones left, man. Yeah, you're right. No, oh my god. Like, I, I I don't realize it till it's too late, but a lot of people's whole strategy is just getting me a, to a wall. <laughs> and once I realize it, I'm like, oh, I see. <laughs> you son of a gun. Okay, I need to... I do need to level up weapons. Uh, but unfortunately, to do that, I need to go to Anor Lando. It's okay. I I I I much rather fight Harong than some of the characters I see in that game. Like Alyssa. Like give me a, a Victor. Like good lord, get them away from me. <laughs> I like the characters that are just like utilizing a martial arts style. And not magic or weapons or, you know, 
shit like that. Like, I appreciate Law and, uh, like, like Paul, uh, you know, Asuka, uh, you know, Kazuya. Like, I, well, Kazuya to a less extent now because he has laser eyes and shit. Like, it just, it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Because I feel like if you're going to be reading attacks and stuff, it's better if the characters are, like, using, like, cohesive human movements and not, like, Ah, oh, sudden here's this magical shockwave. Like, stop it. Uh, yeah, I refuse to rematch, um, Juns, mostly. Like, I can beat Alyssa. Because I've, you know, tech is the same as Tekken 7. It's the same principles. And as for Victor, it's it's legitimately uh, one of his throws is actually like just technically broken, right? Frame wise, like it has such ridiculous frames, it's basically unavoidable. Victor, by all rights, should not even be allowed in ranked at the, at the moment, considering he is broken. Uh, the rest of the characters, like you know, like Jin is um, his damage is bonkers and he's like super easy to use uh, but i wouldn't say he's like broken you know he's not exactly broken he's just like w definitely way over tuned in terms of his damage it's dragon off who's like i think the biggest problem right now and the fact that like most players are using dragon off indicates that yeah he probably is like way over tuned I don't feel like there's a really good way to stop dragging off from like moving once he's like getting into his like attack rhythm. Like he just keeps going and going. Oh, but uh, I do know one weakness of dragging off apparently, and that's just sidestepping. Like sidestepping him seems to work pretty good. He's one of the rare characters you can sidestep that doesn't have like some Willy Wonka ass. Like yeah, this combo also turns around in a 360 degree like motion <laughs> damn fucking attack like homing shit i've seen people do like actually like like go for a grab and then like they would literally turn 360 around to grab me because i was sidestepping at the time like it literally the homing, like, activates during sidesteps. Like, it's fucking, it's, it's bonkers. And it pulls you. Like, the fucking grabs will, like, like pull you towards them with, like, gravity. It's, it's fucking, like, clearly, like, okay, then. Like, I get it. You want 2D, like, 2D, like, fans to play this game. So you've completely fucked up, like, uh, you know, like, lateral movement. But jeez, come on, it's a bit much. It's a bit much. Higher level play does require sidesteps, yeah. And there's actually like a specific way to do like the sidesteps, I, I came to find out. So it's like there's definitely a way to do it. But like most characters have been like actually like given like the tornado moves, they call them, that are just meant to like instantly deal with sidestepping. Because they want, you know, they want Street Fighter fans to play this game. So they gotta, like, nerf, like, the thing that people dislike, which is, you know, lateral movement. Even Harong, like, I've seen him do his sidestep punch before. And if I do any, like, move that has a tornado on it, he just gets caught. He gets clipped, like, while he's using it. It's retarded. But I think they'll, they're probably going to fix that because it, it, it looks it looks janky when you see like a character get like pulled towards someone during like a grab or something. Like the, the grab should just whiff, if like it, it requires gravity to pull them in, to to have it like actually like connect. Oh, and I've seen a total of four. Yeah, it's it well it shouldn't be unsafe. That's the thing. Like your sidestep punch should be like one of your safest moves to use. 
Like, it, it should legitimately be, like, it, it should, like, people shouldn't be able to punish that absentmindedly. Like, they should have to think about, like, you know, specific, like, you know, like, a lateral punch to throw or something. But it's automatic. Like, the, auto, the punishes are automatic for sidestepping. You know, that's, <laughs> and it, it is what it is. What I, what I have discovered, though, is that, like, the best thing you can do is to just keep fucking sidestepping because it's it's it, it clearly annoys the other person to see someone sidestepping. Clearly, like, clearly annoys them. <laughs> the trick with sidestepping is you have to like sidestep and do like that like a little bit of that walk cycle, and then like just sidestep again the moment they make make any movement. Because the moment your head like ducks a little when you like while you're like sidewalking. That, that dodges. That will dodge, like, virtually anything. But you kind of got to double up your sidesteps to really actually get out of anything. And you have to, like, make sure you're not, like, super close either. Because, like, everyone in, in this damn game has, like, some crazy, like, move where they just spin around in a circle and, you know, you, you, you're done. So it's like you, I, you just, you, you can't do it, like, absentmindedly, I guess. But it's, you know, it's still fun. What the fuck? Okay, so we need a munch. Wait, can we... No, we can't. He does. He even does not want the fire ember that I have. Wow, we can only get four of those. That's, that's nuts. We we're trying to upgrade the one of these weapons to plus 10 so we can transform it into a boss weapon. But I think I need to ascend it. That's okay. The only reason I went here was to buy some of his uh, large titanite shards anyways. I'll buy a couple of these too. Uh, just in case we die. I don't want to lose nothing. Okay. Oh, did I alert anything with that very loud roll? No. No, I did not. Have you been training as Ak Aksu Senna lately, Six? The uh, I, very annoying character who has like a fucking parry for a low and a high parry like stance. She's crazy. Like that character is like... Bonkaroonie. I guess, like, all you can do against her is just spam mid. Just spam mids. That's, that's, like, the only angle she's, like, vulnerable to is just mids. I, I do find, uh... I, I do find it funny how rare jacks are. Like, I, I have fought, like, maybe ten jacks total. Like, in ranked. And that's all I do now is play ranked. Like, I... I've gotten past the point where I, I care how much rank I have, in fact. I just, I figure, like, no matter what, I'm just going to stick to ranked combat. Because even if I'm losing, uh, that's fine. Because it's, it's, it's appropriately putting me where I need to be. And if I get better, it'll appropriately put me, you know, higher. 33k? Well, I mean, you know... <laughs> I've seen what kind of player he is. I, I know why he's up that high. Like, give me a break. Like, I don't honestly expect you, me, or York to ever be able to do, like, a super consistent level of play. Like, it's always going to be super variable because we're, we're just, we're actually just, like, fighting. Like, we're, we're just, we're going in there and, and, and just, like, scrapping. Like, we're not sitting here with, like, a damn spreadsheet in front of us being like, Okay, once I get my launcher, I just need to use this. And I'll just wait and use my launcher several times. And then, okay, I got my combo in. Let me just do that on my keyboard. You know? No, we're just fucking, we have controllers. Like, like, men. And we push the, the damn buttons. <laughs> and we fight. <laughs> like, there's no way we're ever gonna be 33k, because... He hasn't... Oh, he hasn't been grinding it like Street Fighter 6? 
I mean, <laughs> I mean, I feel like he has been grinding it. Let's be honest. I mean, I've I've fought his Potemkin and Strive, and it was like he didn't overwhelm me. Like it's, I feel like he's a he's a he's a beatable opponent. He is he is certainly beatable. Even the the three matches I've had with him in, in Tekken Eight, when I was I still didn't really know how to play like the new shit that much. You know, it was still it was it wasn't it wasn't a uh, it didn't stop me. It was pretty close. But how does he get thirty three k though? That's the craziest part. Is that like I feel like we could reasonably like fight him and do pretty well. So why the fuck is he twice our rank? You know. Like what? That does it does it doesn't add up. Doesn't add up. Mm mm. Doesn't add up. Six. I'm just saying. I'm just saying it. That it does not add up. Dude, I fought a Tekken god the other day, right? Like you know, they said Tekken god on the top, and that dude sucked. Like, I'm just like I don't understand what how people are getting so high ranked and just not genuinely being like. Perfect at the game. Ooh, let me see here. I mean, oh, wow, how could you even think to say that? Yeah, that, that makes sense. I don't feel like the cyborgs are having much fun playing the game, though. That's the that's what I feel bad about because I feel like. Like, they're fighting at such an intensity, there's a 0% chance they could have, like, fun, you know? It's just, like, it's all numbers in their heads. You know? But, you know, combat should be, like, you know, you gotta have fun with combat. What the heck? You know, goof off a little. Who cares? Make it, make it interesting. Like, with Steve, I, I, I could easily... Like spam. I I know the the shitty moves I can use. I know the shitty moves I could like potentially spam into a dude and probably win, right? But then the battle would look stupid. The, like the com like the actual like fight scene would look really bad if I just like kept spamming like you know three like really hard to like deal with moves. And plus, I like to take risks and dodge because if you don't take risks and dodge, you don't get those sick ass like counters. You know, you don't get a sick ass dodge and counter if you're just playing it safe. So, you know, it's like, why play it safe? I, w I want a badass looking fight scene. Like, you know? <laughs> like, good lord. I feel like I, play I, I have played all my JRPGs wrong, just based on how the Super RPG friends, like, play RPGs, and like min max everything and, and just kind of I trivialize like the difficulty because i just i like i actually like would play i play jrpgs to like like if i feel like i'm getting too op i will stop like doing like the side shit for a little while like i i want it to be like a little bit i, I want like the badass guy trying to kill me to actually be like a challenge right i don't want it, to it just takes away from the the storyline in my opinion if you're just steamrolling everything that you encounter with like no challenge I think that might be why I like FF8 so much is because no matter like how shitty you are of a player if like you're, you're trying to min max it or whatever like the battles will still like scale with you I'm like nah like you, you can break the game but like on a general playthrough you're never gonna like over level and just like just walk all over everything. Yeah, you that is that is yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, that playstyle you use, I hate it because uh, I see I know exactly what you're fucking doing, and it annoys me to know that uh, you're just you're not fighting in a predictable way. <laughs> it really annoys me because uh, Steve's like main strength is like knowing like reading your opponent's moves 
Like, the moment you can get a beat on your opponent, you can pretty much win. Like, it's really easy to just go boom, 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 done. Uh, but until you get, like, a good understanding of how your opponent fights, like, you, you, good luck getting, like, a win with brute force using Steve. Like, Steve, you can't brute force a Steve win very easily. You have to have, like, some, like, indication of, like, okay, I know I can punish like this because he uses this all the time. But yeah, it works. It's uh, it's uh, so that's why like I I don't have a big problem with cyborgs, honestly. Um, I can beat a cyborg because they're gonna keep doing the same fucking thing, and I'm gonna be able to read it. The people that really like get me are the like pros, like the 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 good Tekken players are the ones who play slow and and steady. Those people get me because uh. They're they're thinking, oh, well, you can stop me. I'm fuck you. Uh, like, have you seen like the like the high level people play, dude? It's not psycho shit at all. It's just like, it's just like fucking um. It's just like weird calculated play. I've had some people who barely moved an inch, and they were just beating me to like the punch every time. Like those are the people you actually like need to worry about in Tekken. But, like, the rank we're at right now, it's all gonna be just people, like, aggressively, like, mashing through. Trying to, like, brute force it. Like, King? Holy crap. King is the most... Like, King apparently is the character you can brute force the entire, like, ranked lobby with. Because he is just built to be just a brute force character, I feel like. Like, holy guacamole. His fucking, like, jumping knee attack is faster than every single one of my attacks that I have. You're telling me a boxer's jab can't hit somebody before a dude jumps and knees ya? I feel like they should have, le have at least given Steve, like, a little bit of, like, a, like a pudgy gut or something. Just to be like, yeah, he's just out of shape. I mean, he does. He's he cares a little bit less. That's why he's slower and weaker than he was. <laughs> Actually, he's not weaker. He's he's very strong in this one. He's just slower. Like he he he's just noticeably slower than like most most of the new characters. Yeah, King is like he's quick. He's like uh, I don't know. I don't I don't know how quick Harang is like generally, but. For Steve, there's very little that can, like, outspeed, like, some of his good launchers. It, Steve's, like, uh, I think Steve's, like, main launcher is, like, 20 frames or something. Like, it's, like, miserable how, like, slow his launcher is compared to, like, King's, like, instant, like, jumping knee thing. It's like, holy crap, like, these characters are, like, like, I don't, I don't feel like there's a slow character in the entire game. Like, I feel like everyone's, like, like, mock speed. Like even Tekken 7, they had like 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 Miguel, for instance, who was just like a big powerhouse, and he's pretty slow. But like, there's no slow characters in this fucking game. That's what people say about Steve is that like um, they know that if you're fighting a Steve, that Steve is probably trying like extremely hard just to do the stupid shit they are doing. He's a fun character to play, and plus in, in 7 he was S tier. Like, Steve was just legitimately, like, probably one of the better characters in the game. So he was, like, he was faster than most characters in 7. So you could, like, really just, like, just, just ruin people's day with just his basic jab. Reyna's, uh, Reyna's easy. Have you figured out how to kill Reyna yet? Are you still struggling against her? Like, slowly I'm realizing Reyna's, like, kind of mid. Kind of mid, because, um... She can't hit low, man. Like, she has very few lows. I think she has more lows than Steve, like, Jesus. As long as you guard high, like, there's not much Reyna can really even do. Uh, same as, like, uh, Lucky Chloe in Tekken 7. Lucky Chloe was, like, people thought she was, like, OP. But it turned out she has, like... <laughs> She has like no, 
like launchers like as long as you don't crouch like she can't launch you it's impossible so that character was like easy to beat like lucky chloe could be beaten as long as you just never crouched once because like crouching is apparently like the biggest mistake you could ever make in this game it's like i feel like uh i feel like people primarily throw out mids like it's a lot of mids I think I've got like like four good mids on Steve that are like they're they're pretty slow but real meaty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some some rainers like actually like I think the bad rainers are just people who are like because like some characters you can win just based on like abusing their like really good power moves. Like I feel like uh. Dragonov, you can win by just because his fucking power moves are like instantaneous like attacks almost. But you no, know, I've never played um I've never played Har as Harang before, so I don't even know what his like deal is really besides, you know, just overwhelming pressure. I'm kind of surprised you haven't tried uh, Brian Fury out yet. Because I feel like he's good in this game. Or at least, like, user-friendly in this game. In 7, he was good because he was almost, like, if he felt impossible to use. And then, like, all the best players were also using him. So it was kind of cool to have, like, just, like, he's just too technical to, like, u utilize. But he's actually really good. I also had to, I also had to buy a new controller uh, like a, a few days ago because uh, the D-pad I've been using it was just it, it's just I apparently I bought a controller with like just a god awful D-pad and it was giving me trouble like pushing up and down specifically um, so like sidestepping was really just like driving me insane and in, in, like Tekken like it, it it felt wrong and it was wrong because uh, the new controller like my sidesteps feel like actually like responsive now. So I get, you know, I bought a little cheapo controller and went, this is fine. This is fine. But uh, no, that D-pad was like, just like, badly built. I did, I basically did, but that's, I mean, you never know. Sometimes those $20 controllers are like, amazing. <laughs> just like, wow, this is the, like, you never know. I knew I was fucked when I, when I opened the box for that controller and it came with a keychain. Uh, and like a the mini controller on, I'm like, oh, I fucked up. Like they, these people are giving me novelty shit instead of giving me a good D-pad. The money they spent on making that fucking keychain, they could have like given me a better D-pad. I'm just saying. You know, you know, preferably one that isn't like an Xbox 360 D-pad that when I push down, I also cannot push up at all. You know, <laughs> like one of those fucking disc D-pads. Ah, oh, it's awful. I can't say I'm like winning any any more than I used to though. And then Tekken Eight, like it, 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 I feel like the competition just gets stronger. Like there's there's not like it's not like the people are getting weaker on Tekken. Like they're just getting better every day. So, I'm looking for the uh, fucking centipede demon. And I just I just you know just don't know where he could be. Oh, ow, he punched me. He just, he just actually just flat out punched me, okay. I've already been behind there, there's just a, a chest. But did I go down? No. Maybe I don't need to go there. We'll, we'll, we'll go around, look around a bit more. They sound like a fucking like septic tank, like the, the the ambient sound they make. Let's 
This guy's got hands today. What the fuck? Punching me like that? Jeez. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that uh, nice chunk. It sounded like it. Like, the, the sounds in this game are amazing. I'm loving it. I've been to some places where, like, it's dead quiet except for, like, a weird fucked up noise in the distance, and I, I'm, I love it. I feel like this game is, like, one step away from being a survival horror game. Like, it's so close to just being, like, Resident Evil with, like, swords. Oh, yeah, well. Okay. Just, uh, hey guys. Wonder what they're looking at. What are you guys looking at? Come on. Oh shit. No, oh, please. No, no, please. <laughs> I don't want to die here. Ugh. Oh, there's still so many in here. Holy crap. This is, in fact, like, kind of a hairy area, jeez. It's not, not super great. Like, they're just kind of, just, it's just sneaking around in there. Okay. Where in the, the holy hells are we headed? See, I'm not used to going through the, the back way, so I'm very unfamiliar with where I'm even heading. Uh, but we're going up there. I think I'm going to head to, like, the lava pool, which I, I really cannot traverse whatsoever. Maybe? Maybe? No. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Lovely place. Lovely, 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 uh, delicious, delicious, love it. Mm. What a great place. Mm -mm -mm. I don't think we'll be. <laughs> I don't think we'll be going in here. At least not until I have a a, a ring that will make it so I don't die from lava. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're you know, we, we now know. This is not the way to go. But at least we got to take in the beautiful scenery of the dragon legs and fire and uh, really nice, uh, what is that, a pagoda? Nice. Nice. So we're gonna, we're gonna use our last homeward bone and get the hell out of here. Uh, actually, that's a yes. It actually that was a yes. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, don't worry though, Six M. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep training on Tekken Eight till I get good. You know, I've, I've deranked so much lately. Gosh, I gotta catch up. Try the actual front way, I guess, I, I suppose. Hmm. Maybe we can get out of here. Maybe we did kill the boss. We don't need that ring yet. We don't need to be in this damn place anymore. So... Hmm. I need to get to... The Tomb of the Giants, and I've, I feel like I forgot how to get in there. Because I never popped the, uh... Yeah, it's true. I Honestly, I, I let myself de-rank a little bit. Like, some matches, I was just like, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna practice guarding and dodging and just not really fight back. You know, just see if I could actually dodge the shit people were throwing at me. 
I mean, it would be nice to catch up with Tonio, though. Like, that's, I think, the only real, like, incentive here. But, like, personally... Like, uh, personally, I don't, I don't care too much, like, what my rank is, like, on my own. I'll just fight. But, you know, if it's a competition, I mean, you, get, you gotta, you, you gotta do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, higher rank players are insane. It is, it is fun, though, to... Uh, Get like smashed by one and then like ma ma pull out like one win at least just you know this one one cheeky little win great wrestler i mean if i mean if you guys really want i could i could definitely stream uh, one of the wrestling games i'm just saying Yeah, I mean, I think it is really cool to play rank just so you can see, like, your little stats of, like, oh, he's a S-plus sneaky bastard, you know, stuff like that. That's that's cool to monitor. Um, but otherwise, it's like, well, you know, <laughs> I assume most people probably get, like, to a rank and then they stop playing ranked. They just, they're just, like, they're afraid to lose the rank, right? Uh, which is which is uh, understandable, you know. You don't want to lose your nice little name badge thing. I think I have got to go through all the catacombs again to get to the tomb of the giants. But the joke is truly on the tomb of the giants. For I have, I have fought tooth and nail to get this. Boy, it sure is empty in the Firelink Shrine these days. Not even a Logan sitting around. Just empty. Alright, we're gonna see if we can nestle our way into the Tomb of the Giants then. Actually. Hmm, that could be foolish. Until I have something to actually fight Bla Grave Lord Nito with. I have the sack? Oh, wait. I remember. Uh, I remember what to do with that sack, I think. If I remember, I could be crazy. You know, I could be thinking of Dark Souls 3 again. Let's see. I need to get up to that uh, crow up there, that raven thing. To him. Uh, if I don't remember, that's fine. I still have. Uh, catacombs to go to, regardless. But I think I can get up here and give him things. If I can find uh, the nest. Hmm, well, I do not seize it. That's also you get to the uh, back to the asylum as well, so it would be nice to figure out where where that nest is. Um, excuse me, where's your nest? Um, um, excuse me. I guess that's gonna be a big no, a big N O, for that nest for now. I could look it up later. If I really need to, or I could just uh, not, just not worry about it. Okay, well that's fine, Aruni. Um, going to warp to the parish. I think we need to 
handles Sith. Because Sif will allow me to make the Artorius Greatsword, which which is uh, will will do extra damage to everything in the Tomb of the Giants and extra damage to the Four Kings. So it would be nice to get that and level up to use it, so we can just do that extra like damage, especially on the Four Kings. So we're going to see if uh, Sif will put up a good fight. I forgot this this guy was gone. They feels kind of lonely in this room with no uh, Titanite demon. Don't believe we're gonna have much trouble with uh, Sif, but you, you never know. That is still a mid roll. Extra stamina? Uh, always good. I'm also curious if I do any more damage to those uh, humans that were guarding this area. When I fought him last, I was really not not doing a lot of damage. Ooh, gimme, gimme. Wonder what does bleeding in this game. I keep finding all the bloody moss clumps. Cause I know in Elden Ring there's the whole ass like sections that are just all about blood magic. I think we'll take this bonfire. Just in case. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll get killed uh, at some point. I mean gosh. So I, I do want to see if I can fight this guy, whoever he is, the Invisible Knight. Oh, oh he sees me already. Oh, he's coming for me. Oh, wait, well, hey, you're brave. You are a brave, brave guy. That guy's face kind of looks like Dark Side Phil. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't have to kill Priscilla though, do I? Maybe yeah, dogs. I mean, I know Kirk. Kirk does bleeding, but I, I, I don't. I'm not human enough to worry about him. Oh, there, there's somebody. Whoa! It's the assassin. Hmm. I do feel like I'm... There, there was a knight in here that I was afraid of, but I have not seen him yet. Better heal. Oh, there's the big baddie himself. Whoa, that is some serious damage you do. Oh, why am I stopping? D run! <laughs> Just run! <laughs> I'll lure him to my nice little familiar zone. Painted World, definitely will have to, even if it's optional, I feel like I still will try to go through there. Okay, he's dead. Yeah, go ahead and heal. I'll heal too. Ooh. His, uh, his attacks have some pretty good heft to them. Like, it knocked me back. Oh jeez, 
don't really want to risk a potential level up by, you know, losing to Sif. So I might as well level up. That's a lot of souls, holy crap. Okay, what do we get? I mean, health can always come in handy. All right, moving on. We're gonna try to bum rush through uh, instead of fighting. Because if I fight all of them, I'll, I'll get I'll get like 10k souls and be like, hey, whoa, whoa, should probably level up. It'll be like an endless cycle of. Killing them and leveling up, I think. Oh, 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 oh. See that guy jump? He jumped. He, 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 like, he, he, he super brain did. I don't remember an awful lot about fighting Sif. I just remember to stay under under her. Try jumping. Okay, nice, nice. Here we go. Sadness ahead. Grief ahead. I'm sorry. I got. I my prediction was off. Here we go. Sif, 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 sif. A minute. Tears. Tears ahead. Oh my god, your attacks are so weird. Oh shit. Oh. oh my god, like the timing is off so bad for me. Quick. Well, you noble, majestic beast. Uh, 
Yeah, I thought I had, I was pretty sure I was about to die there, I'll be honest. Like, I was pretty sure Sif was about to kick my butt. Hornet ring. Do not need. But, you know, nice regardless. Get, get out of here then, I guess. Okay, so I think we need... So what we need is a broken sword. An actual broken sword. We need a broken sword and a level up to level 10 to be able to get the Artorias sword. And I know of only one place that could potentially get me some <laughs> broken swords. Well, maybe a few. Did I have broken swords before? Ah, uh, yeah, but I, I think I sold them. I was very upset with seeing them. So, my 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 foolish actions mean that I need to go find one. It's okay. And there's a few guys bumming around down here. Maybe. I'll get lucky. Come on, just give me one of your broken swords. Just do it. I guess I w wouldn't get his anyways, if even if he had one. Nope. Nothing. Ooh. Just meager souls, mainly. Do they even drop them? Uh, you know? I don't know. Maybe. A stock. Hey. They go. Apparently, we are. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe not that unlucky. There's another one. No single drop. Oh, maybe. No. That's fine. Oh, 
But the Arturia's great sword is just it's gonna do good in two areas. And that's pretty good considering there's only three areas left. As for the Duke's archives, I mean, uh, oof. I'm gonna try to cut off its tail, so that probably won't be as fun as I I'd expect it to be. A bit of a jaunt going to and from for these guys, but hey. I'll give it another one or two shots and see if I get lucky. And if not, oh well. Maybe we'll 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 go to the Duke's archives next then. We'll save Tomb of the Giants and uh New Londo for later, once I find a broken sword. Technically I could turn just a normal plus ten longsword into it as well, but it wouldn't be the right one. It would be a different version of that sword. Like a, a not holy version. Whiffing all those. Just whiffing them. Well, at least they drop they drop some souls, I mean, you know. We just ate much. I'm starting to think maybe they just don't drop them. Okay, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe, maybe we will get lucky. But uh, no such luck on this attempt. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, one more try. We'll do one more. Uh, you know, right on back up and then back down. I sure could level up, but I'm trying to save those for upgrading weapons. Hopefully I don't fall or die or something. That would that would kind of suck. I got a quite a few souls here. I, I don't think though. I don't think these guys are gonna kill me though. Honestly, if they do, I deserved it. Shit, I forgot about this guy. Completely forgot about this smith. 
Weakness, backstepping. Yeah, that, that, that's, a, that, that's a real good point. If I backstep here. Because he can make stuff into magic items. And he sells some magic spells. Cool. Um. Come back soon. Smithing helps soothe me. Don't let me wither away at her eyes. Hey, hang on. Who's that? Ah, okay. He's the one I can give the fire ember to. Absolutely. Oh, really? I will forge a terrific mark, a weapon to make them. Oh, wait, no. What is that? Oh, my God. This guy was like the key to everything. This dude's taking all my embers up and like collecting. Oh no, he didn't. He didn't want this one. Never mind. Well, he's the magic smith. Okay. I mean, they're not super useful for this character, but very useful for other characters. Still no uh, broken swords. In fact, these guys have dropped nothing, like not nothing so far. Uh, maybe they don't. I think for sanity's sake, I'm going to verify that they do drop these things. Let me see here. I don't know if these guys drop it or not, but it does say there's a 2% chance. A 2% chance from hollows in other areas, but they didn't specify this little nook and cranny right here. But good enough for me. Give it one, one more shot. Worst come to worst, I do a just a few run-throughs of the undead berg. Just clear it out. Because those for sure drop it. Um. Ah, we'll go down here. This is a, the highest accumulation of them. What, what is uh, Dark Souls if you don't have to do a little bit of weird grinding?
Uh, so far, no good, but... No, it's, it's fine. through of the undead berg then. Oh. Uh, no such luck, really. But maybe these guys just simply do not drop them, which is fine. They seem super passive anyways. Kind of slower to one hand the sword, but uh, I mean, good lord, horizontal attacks are so nice. So we're going to go up here and bother these guys again. Yeah, why not? Now these aren't the ones who drop what I need. They're just in the way. really neat are those uh, kind of annoying guys who you could potentially kill you with like their super 8 hit combo. None of these guys. a bunch of them in the... Yeah, I know where to go next. I know. I know. We'll kill the ones here, and then we're gonna go to that, that church, that chapel. There's like a billion of them upstairs. Oh. Um, but before that, we will uh, kill the ones here, just in case. You know, we're here. We might have to, we might not have to go to the next area. I'm just gonna skip these guys. You know what? While we're here. Despite that bottomless box, Jesus. And, uh, I guess nothing else, really. Eh. Dagger. Nothing, nothing neat. I believe, the, yeah, here they are. Just the guys I've been waiting for. No, oh, no luck on that 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 little group either. The, still, guys. Oh yeah, we re reset everything. Okay, yeah, we'll go to the church. Oh, 
Uh, because that that little cluster of them will do just just fine. I will have to fight that rapier guy first, though. Who, who you know, he could parry you. He could like parry you and and stab you and do a billion damage. It's, it's, it's fucked up. It's a little fucked up. I should probably double hand this before I keep, you know, else I'll keep whiffing attacks, thinking they're different attacks. Oh, shit. I'm glad we all missed this time, huh? Real threat, it's this guy. Anything over here? No. Wow, one hit. I, I grow stronger, it would seem. And I got their armor. That's fine. It doesn't have a cool cape, so. Oh shit. I, I... Don't die. I probably should not die here. That would be bad. That was definitely a big accumulation. Um, still did not drop what I needed. That's okay. <laughs> Big old fucking clump of bodies. Well, we'll just reset them. Wondering who I need to like. I, I have a, a ember for fire, I believe. I I don't know who to take it to though. Like I assumed the uh, Paka, oh no, the giant blacksmith was gonna handle it, but he he didn't. Nor did Andre or that uh, magical one I just found. They're really four blacksmiths in this game? Like, wow. Okay, so the fireball techniques <laughs> seem to work pretty good to get rid of these guys. Almost all of them. Damn, they really don't want to drop those things, huh? Well, you know, don't want to make it easy on you. I, I, I get it. Hey, good job. I hear ya. Ooh, 
Wish these guys at least gave me a, a few more soul. I mean, I, I I need that Covetta's like silver ring, I think, for the extra souls. If I remember, it's somewhere in the fucking Tomb of the Giants. I don't remember where the gold one is, which is for, like, item drop rates. But I feel like the gold one is t hard to find. Like, I feel like by the time you find the gold one, it's, like, almost pointless to have it. More Baldur armor. I thought I saw some glowy bits on him. Uh, it turned out not to be. It turned out not to be. But, uh, you know, that's okay. Because it's all part of the process, you know? I want what I want, and in order to get it, I need a broken straight sword. And this is my punishment for selling it. I should have sold the damn thing. I, I completely forgot that that's how you make a good boss weapon, is by transforming things. those guys get like a, a decent amount of souls it's not bad it makes it worth the, the run Ooh, I thought he was gonna give me more boulder armor fireball down her throat. Really? No items for me? Okay, okay. That's, that's okay. That's what I expect. the extra luck. Luck, I'm just saying. Hmm. 
it. There we go. But still, no sword. Still no sword. I mean, my claimer's doing fine for me, but it won't do fine for me against the, the, the four kings. Or Nito, because Nito takes a, a damage, like, a, you know, from Holy. I do have this humanity. I might kindle something. I just gotta figure out what I want to kindle. Probably the two, one of the the catacombs bonfires. guys once more. Nothing for me. Boy, that sure is a 2% chance, gosh. I think we'll give it a couple more a couple more shots before we close it up. Um because the bed of chaos is dead. He's been dead for a while, so main mission was accomplished a while ago. We also uh, took out Sif as well. But this is the unfortunate aftermath of taking out Sif is that I I need I need to do boss weapon stuff. I could also upgrade a shield to 10 and turn it into Artorius's shield which um if you block anything with that shield like it, it, it's like immune to status effects, more or less, so you won't take, like, poison buildup or bleed buildup or whatever from getting hit, as long as you block it. But I kind of do want to... Woo. At least give these guys a couple more... A couple more attempts. It's a no for this one. Oh, nice. He gave me his waist cloth. shot last shot so you know maybe we'll have full luck this time yeah well they're gonna all drop a, a broken straight sword for me that's what's gonna happen this time I'm gonna get like six broken straight swords I swear oh shit that's a bit early
All right. The the motley crews dealt with. The three stooges out there. For this guy once more. Ooh, ooh more Balder knight armor. Oh no, Balder leggings even better. All right, let's uh let's see if we can't uh, get that broken straight sword this time. Uh, please. Just, uh, you know, just don't want to die to these guys primarily. Like, that's mainly what I don't want to happen. Oh, was that it? Was it? No way. No, nothing. Well, that's fair. Now you win some. Uh, you lose some, no big deal. Um, but they, they they will not keep me from my broken straight sword forever. Not forever. For now, yes. Uh, for, forever, no. Eh, damn. It is what it is. Will next stream be called uh, broken straight sword grinding? I don't know. I don't know. It might. It might not. But let me see if there's anyone like to raid or something, perhaps. Well, uh, no, not really. Not exactly. Not at this time. That, that's okay. You know, I mean, people got stuff to do on Sundays, you know? They got stuff to do. You know, they can't just sit here and try to grind uh, broken straight swords, you know. No one. Uh, no one that I saw. That's, that's, that's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. Ah, that's okay. Well, let's uh, make sure we log out the right way. Gotta make sure we log out the right way, you know. Well, that's more Dark Souls remastered for you. Bed of Chaos, dead, gone. We, we took it out first. Centipede Demon still lives, and that I find that pretty weird. I feel like I, I need to kill the Centipede Demon still. Sif is dead, um, which is fine. I, I mean, I, now I get Solaire for the final battle, so... I'm pretty pretty excited. I don't think I've ever done that before, or I had him like right at the end. Uh, you know, uh, next time I'm um, probably gonna be sh we're probably gonna be grinding that uh, broken straight sword. I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, and then um, probably be grinding souls in that little forest area so we can upgrade. Uh, the broken straight sword to 10 and other shit so it's probably going to be a long grinding stream where i level up and upgrade weapons and basically just beef myself out a little bit because i'm gonna have to level up i think faith and intelligence just to wield the artorius greatsword so that that's gonna be 20 levels right there just on their own But that's fine. That's fine. It, 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 it'll pay off when I when I get to go to New Londo and try to beat it. Anyways, I want to thank you for joining me today, York and uh, Six. I saw him on here earlier too. Uh, and whoever else could be lurking, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, for now, I'll leave it off the same way I always do. And uh, you better, better fucking have a good, uh, good Sunday. You better fucking have a real, real nice Sunday. Okay? Yeah. Perfect.
Thank <laughs> you.